To Winston Churchill, friendship mattered, but he also had a certain self-centeredness. Speaking at the age of 34 to a close female friend, he said, we are all worms, but I am a glowworm. And Churchill never did nothing. To the same friend, he confided, curse ruthless time and our mortality. How cruelly short is the allotted span for all we must put into it. With not all his female acquaintances was Churchill on such intimate terms. When Nancy Astor told him, if I were your wife, I would poison your coffee, Churchill retorted, if I were your husband, I should drink it. He was even less chivalrous when the Labour MP Bessie Braddock shouted at one gathering, Churchill, you're drunk, came the reply in a flash. Madam, you are ugly. I shall be sober in the morning. Invective apart, a further relaxation was conversation with a high ratio of talking to listening. At a well-lubricated lunch or dinner, Churchill was at his conversational best. He was quick in repartee. Bernard Shaw sent Churchill two tickets for the first night of one of his plays, saying that Churchill should bring a friend if he had one. Churchill replied that he couldn't make the first night but he would come to the second, if there was one. He enjoyed painting, which did much to calm his mind. He had a practical bent. He enjoyed bricklaying. In the early 1930s, at 58, he built himself a large part of two cottages. Throughout his life, he was given to depression, black dog, as he called it. His interests were therapeutic. They kept black dog at bay. So too did champagne, about a bottle a day, together with white wine at lunch, red at dinner, and port or brandy thereafter. With some truth, Churchill said, I have taken more out of alcohol than alcohol has taken out of me. He smoked eight or ten large Cuban cigars each day. That is a quarter of a million over his lifetime. Cigars were his trademark. Winston did not do moderation. But he did tolerate eccentricity. One February, the chief whip came to Chartwell to relate a very sorry incident in Hyde Park. Churchill, unlit cigar between his lips, growled, did I hear you say that the minister had been caught with a guardsman? Yes, Prime Minister. In Hyde Park? I'm afraid so, Prime Minister. On a park bench? That's right, Prime Minister. At three o'clock in the morning? Correct, Prime Minister. In this weather? Good God, man, it makes you proud to be British. 